The majority of seeds used for corn and soybeans and other food crops are coated with toxic pesticides, insecticides, and fungicides. These toxic chemicals emerge from the seeds into the plant and invade the soil biology and surrounding waterways, causing indiscriminate poisoning and contamination. When insects feed, they get sick and die. The most commonly used insecticide on coated seeds are called neonicotinoids, or neonics. Plants thrive in biologically active soil. Healthy soil contains beneficial bacteria and fungi that help feed and keep plants resilient and strong. Neonic seeds attack this ancient balance of biological life. An EPA review shows neonic residues in streams, rivers, and lakes above hazard levels for freshwater invertebrates, important to the food web for aquatic organisms. The pesticides upset the biodiversity of the entire ecosystem, water bodies, and land areas. As the plant grows, the chemical that coats the seed makes its way throughout the plant, into the pollen, nectar, and sap droplets. That's why these are known as systemic pesticides. Plants not grown from coated seeds may be sprayed with the same pesticides or drenched at their roots. With this application, the chemical also travels through the plant. These pesticides make the plants poisonous to organisms that feed on them. Bees, butterflies, birds, and bats. Pollinators. They are indiscriminately poisoned when they forage through fields and gardens. Since the introduction of neonics, honeybees have suffered dramatic declines, as much as 44% in a season. Some beekeepers have experienced total collapse of their hives. And farmers suffer. One neonic reduced beetle populations by 60%, allowing pest slugs to flourish. The result? Decreased soybean density and yield. An EPA review shows no yield benefit for farmers who use neonic seeds. Yet with increased consolidation in the pesticide and seed industry, the seed choices for farmers are more and more limited. Fact, honeybees and native bees are critical to pollination. One out of every three bites of food we eat requires pollination, as do the majority of flowers. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, of the 100 crop species which provide 90% of global food, 71 are pollinated by bees. The decline of the bee population has had serious economic consequences as well. The total global economic value of pollination services is estimated to be 9.5% of global food production, or $190 billion in the US, with $15 billion from domestic crops that are directly reliant on honeybees and 20 to $30 billion dependent on all pollinators. Despite all this, the chemical industry defends the use of neonics. It claims neonics reduce pesticide spraying, which in turn limits pesticide exposure to applicators and drift onto non-target areas. An acknowledgement that pesticides move through the air, causing widespread contamination. The chemical industry blames parasites, not its products, for the decline in bee populations. But studies show bees are much more vulnerable to the threat from parasites and diseases after exposure to systemic pesticides. While habitat loss is also a problem for all wildlife, planting sites with neonic-treated seeds turn habitats into killing fields. What you can do. There is an alternative. A solution that is effective, productive, economically viable and sustainable. And it doesn't require yet another new toxic pesticide or genetically engineered crop. Organic land management. 
It respects the environment and the complexities and benefits of the ecosystem. So, support organic agriculture and garden organically. It's important. Eat with a conscience. Find out how your food is grown. Buy certified organic seeds. The goal, protect biodiversity in agriculture, gardening, and management of our parks and playgrounds with policies and practices. Our future depends on our respect for nature and the complex biological relationships that sustain life. For more information, visit beyondpesticides.org.